coming to you from Main Road, the second episode of the Milk Cup final between Everton and Liverpool, the packed stadium here, 52,000 hoping for a repeat of the sparkling game that we saw at Wembley on Sunday. First, the teams tonight, Everton have had a change forced on them by the injury to their midfield man, Kevin Sheedy. His place goes to Alan Harper, a former Liverpool player who came on as a sub at Wembley, and their substitute tonight is Andy King. Liverpool, they field the side that started the game on Sunday. It means that Craig Johnston keeps the number 10 shirt, even though he was substituted for the period of extra time by Michael Robinson. The names certainly are familiar, and they, indeed they are formidable as well. Even so, Everton feel they could have won it at Wembley and should have had a penalty. It seemed Alan Hansen did handle the ball early in the game, although he claims it was not intentional. That came when Everton's Adrian Heath got in a shot on goal after a tussle with Bruce Grobelin. And Everton had their heroes. And goalkeeper Neville Southall was as big as any of them. A series of excellent saves, and one late in the game from Ian Rush was probably the best of the match. Rush himself, since Wembley, of course, has been named Player of the Year by the Professional Footballers Association, so our congratulations to him. What about Craig Johnston? I suppose, in a way, he's got something to prove, having been substituted on Sunday, and in his disappointment, he left the pitch at the end before being presented to the Queen Mother. But as Craig told us tonight, certainly no snub was intended. It was just that he was so bitterly disappointed. He wants to put all that behind him, quite obviously. The referee tonight, just as it was on Sunday, is Alan Robinson from Waterlooville in Hampshire. And it's Alan's first appearance here at Main Road. Well, we are ready to go again. And Everton in the blue shirts and white shorts attacking the goal to our right. Liverpool, of course, in that famous all-red strip. Bailey with the header. Liverpool get the throw. Reminding you that there's bound to be a result tonight. We can't have anything inconclusive now. Rush on his way and Mountfield just getting it away. But Sammy Lee coming in uh, quickly. And now Craig Johnston because as on Sunday we are due possibly for a period of extra time and if it's all square after that the night will be decided very dramatically on penalties. Richardson, Reed. Good run there from his marker by Heath, getting away from Lawrence, and that's not easily done. And Harper with the shot over the top. It was Harper a little over three weeks ago who scored a good equalising goal for Everton at Goodison Park against Liverpool. And Liverpool, Brian Clough, showing themselves once more to be a little bit vulnerable right at the back there in the early stages of a game. Well, they tend to pace themselves. Uh, I think it's youthful enthusiasm on the Everton's part, on Everton's part where they're getting in the Liverpool box. Nothing more and nothing less. Well, here's Mountfield with the free kick for Everton. Hit towards Sharp. Keith is waiting for anything that might fall. And in the end, it could have gone Sharp's way and he didn't really get much of a shot in. For a moment there, I think the ball hit uh, Neil on the back of the head. He didn't quite know where it was. Irvin. Hansen. Nice little ricochet, very welcome there for Everton. And Heath finding Sharp and keeps it in play. Coming towards Harper, will he get it on the volley? No, he plays it back. And it comes for Reed, and a good save by Krobelar. Uh, the first real save of the day, or the night rather, by a goalkeeper. And it's Bruce Krobelar saving from Peter Reed and doing well. Harper, a nice little touch back in there. Stevens miscuing. Reed on the turn, and that would have just crept in. Little dummy by Johnston. Gets it back from Rush. It'll come maybe for Dalgleish, just nicking it away from Richardson. Soonest spreading it for Neal. Made on again for Johnston. Here's Dalgleish. Neal. In for Sunis. And a goal! 
Sunis for Liverpool. A great shot out of nothing there by the Liverpool captain. Neil plays it in. Sunis catching it. Beating the dive of Southall. And Liverpool into the lead. Richardson, Reed, Stevens, Ratcliffe, Bailey, Heath trying to make something happen quickly there. Richardson with a shot from a long way out, go quick. takes it up, head in for Dalgleish, play through for Rush, Whelan shots, coming off John Bailey, for a, a, a Liverpool corner, Liverpool's first of the night, Kenny Dalgleish will take it, in there, Craig Johnston too, it was the head up by Stevens away, Sunis, this kick in point of fact, and Bailey very confidently back to Neville Southall. <laughs> so works off the field as well, if you heard him. Dalgleish encouraging Johnston to make his run. Played back by Ronnie Wheeler. Good teamwork again here by Liverpool. Dalgleish. Johnston. Kennedy. Turning away from trouble. Finding Hansen. Just at the moment, Everton can't get near it. Sunis. Now they can. And here's Reid on the break. Irvin. Richardson, good turn and a good ball to Harper, played in well by him towards Sharp, but the bounce didn't beat Hansen, support there from Sunis very quickly, getting through so much work, what an example he is to his side tonight, here he is again, head in towards Rush, with Kevin Ratcliffe, his Welsh teammate and one of his closest chums. And they're sticking pretty close together tonight there as well. Sharp again winning it in the air. Harper for Heath. Now can he take Lawrenson? He can. But he can't take Robillard. Again starting with Sharp winning it in the air, Brian. Yeah. Young Heath was unlucky then. He did everything right, he took his time, he looked up, he went past the defender. Robillard did well with the angle. The jump by Stevens. in there for Dalgleish oh this hit and Rush has put it over the top from eight yards well he managed it from two yards on Sunday he's not having the best of times uh, in these finals at the moment but there's a long way to go for the 45 minutes still 1-0 to Liverpool five minutes to half time
Sharp again winning it in the air. And Sunis forced under pressure to concede the corner. Well, about two and a half minutes to half time. Everton getting themselves a corner. And a chance maybe to haul themselves back into this exhilarating cup final. Liverpool leading 1-0. Flick back. Oh, in there. Oh, a shot off the line there. Can Mountfield chipped in once more by Richardson, whose shot it was in the first place. Heath is right in there. Grobola. <laughs> Almost without jumping, gathering off the, the ball off the top of uh, Adrian Heath's head. Now Kennedy on for rush. Dalgleish making a great break and a nice little dummy, knowing that Sunis was behind him. Knowing in turn that Kennedy would be coming up on the left side. Good challenge by Reed, supported by Irvin. First time he's been on this side of the field in this game tonight. Finding Peter Reed, a little touch there for Ratcliffe. Heath has gone briskly across to the left side. Bailey, now he might find Heath. No, instead he's looking for Sharp. A free kick to Everton. The last seconds of the first half. <laughs> Bailey with the free kick. That time Lawrenson with a mighty jump beat Sharp. But Sharp is back there again. Harper with the shots, and it wouldn't quite fall for Heath. Goal kick. Time whistle, and I think we need half time now for us all to get our breath back. Tremendous pace, a fine game, and Graham Sunis's goal giving Liverpool the lead. But Everton are really fighting hard in this game. Graham Sharp winning so much in the air, Adrian Heath alongside him. A lot more excitement to come tonight. A half time here, then at Main Road, Manchester, Everton nil, Liverpool one. It's Liverpool who will start this second half. 45 minutes away from winning the Milk Cup for the fourth successive year. Quick touch for Neville Southall. And from Van Dudno. Formerly with Winsford and with Berry. Just nicking that on for Irvin. Took a nasty old knock as he did so, I think, and he was slightly incensed, but the referee let it go on. And Sharp is there again with the header. That was a lovely incident, just under the referee's nose, actually, between Phil Neal and Young Heath. They were just having a little flicks at each other, and the referee wasn't a yard away from them. Reed. Oh, Sharp on side. Big influence again tonight. Sunes, always an influence. Absolute master at taking the pace out of the game, controlling it, short balls, long balls, you name it. There's a short one. And there's a long one, but it goes to Stevens. Now can Sharp get the better of Hansen? Not much room there. And the flag is up. Maybe for a little unfair that can be four, but it's a free kick to Everton. 
coming back a little bit. Maybe a little bit of unfair jostling by Hansen. And it's quickly taken. It's with Gary Stevens. How can Heath get on that? Well, it was Reed in the end who put it across the face of that Liverpool goal. And one or two Everton players holding their head in their hands. They felt, as indeed it was, it was a golden opportunity for an equaliser, Brian. They got in each other's way. Reed was wanting Heath to get out of the way, and the other way about also. Eventually, he did jump out of the way, but it was a wee bit too late. Rush. Here's Johnston again. Neil. Sunis. Johnston and Irvin battling away there but Johnston got the better of him and it was Ronnie Whelan down on his knees screwing it wide with his head good cross that was from Johnson perseverance as well a lot of players would have given a free kick away here and Liverpool are not brought up like that he didn't give one delivered a beautiful cross in could have quite easily gone in Bailey Knocked away there by Hansen. Here's Peter Reed. Stevens playing it in. Robola catching it. Every time he's had to come out in this match so far, he's caught absolutely beautifully. And what a good break here by Liverpool. Rush is on the way. Will it be number two? No. Stopped by Southall. They were played on side by a defender on this side of the field, and two of them. Dalgleish and Rush were suddenly clear of the rest of the field. Well, they always say goalkeepers have to be, I think they call it, leg conscious. And, it's uh, pretty, it's of... pretty self well, but uh, uh, a striker of this lad's quality should have put that away quite easily. It's not such a thing as an easy chance, but if there's going to be one, that was it. There's only one goal in this game at the moment. And there's a lot of football still to be played. Another of your philosophers, Brian, isn't it? When you're only one goal down, you're still in with a great chance. You're always, always, always thinking when you get a goal. Well, I imagine that Liverpool might be thinking at the moment they could be onto something here as Whelan plays it forward. Stop though by Ratcliffe. And here come Everton. The speed of this central defender. And Sharp is on side now. Ratcliffe's continued his run. Heath and Irvin on, on this side of the field. And the shot, in the end, is a simple one for Grobola. Howard Kendall has come down from the director's box to get onto the bench to direct a few things. Oh, a nice little touch by Dalgleish. Ronnie Whelan on the far side, Dalgleish. And Southall doing a bit of good catching himself. Back to keep it. Ball stood in play. Not now, though. Everton's throw. Coming up towards the halfway stage in this second half of this World Cup final replay. Still Everton no, Liverpool one. Graham soon as the score. Here goes Dalgleish. Here's Rush. And Johnston had gone through, but it came off Ratcliffe. said the referee okay says Johnston and Dalgleish with the shot that's wide it's a goal kick and Alan Irvin is the player who'll be coming off for Everton as Andy King comes on he's a very 
popular fellow amongst the Everton fans. A quick rearrangement, a quick thoughts coming, uh, being transferred by Andy King from the bench to Kevin Richardson, Derek Mountfield, and to Peter Reid. Slight readjustment as Everton goes, still searching for that equalising goal. Oh, something happened there while I was watching the fight of the ball. It must have been Sharp and Phil Neal, I think. Yes, indeed. And the referee having a word. And Bruce Grobelar, as is always the case, wanting his version to be heard as well. Well, the, there's a free kick being taken back again. Kick is taken again. Active with it. In towards Mountfield. Got an important header in, but pushed down on the Liverpool defender as he did so. So what about it, Brian? Let's just steady down the game at the moment. Liverpool are obviously desperate to hang on to what they have got. And there's a, just a touch of des desperation coming into Everton's play now. They're playing longer balls than they were, and that will suit uh, Liverpool down to the ground. Well, a misunderstanding there. It lets Soonis through. My word, a wicked shot with a minimum of effort and a minimum of backlift. But fortunately for Everton, was a couple of yards wide. Good effort, this. Strikes it viciously. Tunis doing more work for Liverpool, finding Rush. Ratcliffe away. Heath couldn't get there, Hansen could. Lee. Now Gleish. Go on, go after that, he says to Craig Johnston. And there's a lovely cross coming in. And Rush almost got in there. And in the end, it was Mountfield who got it away for the corner. Rush, Whelan and Del Gleish all in that six-yard area and a corner to Liverpool and Rush just couldn't quite get to it and there's Mountfield just backing it away for this corner again Everton that time it was sharp getting it away for Peter Reid still only one goal in this Mill Cup final replay Liverpool leading 1-0 Andy King played on for Heath Grobelar had come right out he's got to get back quickly and in the end it's the speed of Lawrenson that gets in when Heath was contemplating the shot and it'll be a corner for Everton. Robelar in danger of being caught out there, Brian. He was... I wasn't quite sure what he was doing. Well, it's a corner for Everton. Not a very good one. But Bailey with time to put it back into that Liverpool penalty area. Robelar, a beautiful catch again off the head of Andy King. Dalglish stood off him for a moment. Had time to find Craig Johnston. It's Kennedy coming in. Oh, don't let him get on that left foot. And they've done so. Straight at Southall. They held off a little bit there. That's a couple of times they held off Dalglish for a moment and looked the space there for Kennedy. Yes, right. Lovely striker of the ball with his left foot. Liverpool's way, Rush finding Dalglish, and well, you don't see that very often, a total misunderstanding involving no fewer than three Liverpool players, but it's come back towards Craig Johnston, and a goal kick. Ten minutes left, Brian. Yeah, tiredness uh, induces mistakes, and that's what's happening now. For, for 80 minutes they've been battling away, and there's just now a wee bit of weariness creeping into, particularly Everton's play. And, of course, they've got this feeling where they know they've got to go and do something. Liverpool have got the cushion of the goal, and they're playing it around beautifully at the moment. There's ten years of European competitions on the field playing at the moment with Liverpool. Yes, and all that experience of conserving energy and holding on to a precious lead 
is being shown. And Everton have got a battle against that. Reed. And he delayed Bailey and Rush. Supported by Lee. Will Liverpool kill it off now? No, they won't. Talking about their experience. They've got a corner, though. The last trophy Everton won was the league title in 1970, and as I was saying on Sunday, since then, Liverpool have had seven championships, three European Cups, three Milk Cups, two UEFA Cups and an FA Cup, and it's all that sort of experience that is standing them in such good stead at the moment. Leading 1-0. danger of getting hold of this milk cup and keeping it for good. Dalgrish stopped by Mountfield. Oh, Lee, it opened up for him. And the shot just carried too hard. Johnston, Lee, Neil, Dalgleish is in there, but Mountfield is with him. What have they got? I think at the moment, oh, they've got a good save from Southall, from Craig Johnston, who thought he'd made it absolutely safe there. It's a corner for Liverpool. I thought the ball had gone off for a moment, but you can see quite clearly it hadn't. That was a good save. Lee again with Liverpool's corner. Whelan. Lee planting it in there once more. Rush with the header. Dalgleish. And another good save. And I must say, at the other end of the field, Bruce Grobelar is applauding that save wildly, just as he did a moment ago when Southall made another very good save. Southall banging the ball forward again. But a Liverpool head, that of Ronnie Whelan, is there to get it away. Bailey knocks it forward again. Harper's up there. Kennedy doesn't know where it is, but Stevens does. Harper. Now can Reed keep it in? No, he can't. Just another few seconds of a containing action now by Liverpool will be enough. Sharp. Reed. Can they yet do it? Sharp again. Stevens with a chance to play it in. It's over, and Liverpool have won the Milk Cup of 1984, the first ever final between these all Merseyside rivals, and that's how it finishes. Graham Souness's goal in the first half is the one that keeps the sides apart. <laughs> Graham, what do you feel? Obviously delighted. I was saying I hope they all behave themselves. I mean, it's been a great two games. There hasn't been much in it. We just deserve to win, I think. Right, we've got Craig Johnston. Craig, how does this trophy compared to some of the others? Oh, it's the best, you know, the best I think I've ever won, especially in this city, you know. I'm so pleased for the fans, you know, because it's been a whole month of build-up in that. It's the best moment of my, my life ever. So it's Liverpool then. Well, already, whatever they do in the league, whatever they do in the European Cup, have already qualified for another season in Europe by winning this Milk Cup. What a tremendous couple of games he and his Everton defenders have had. Losing medals being presented by the vice chairman of the Dairy Council, Michael Balderstone. Adrian Heath, who promised so much, particularly in the early times when he was combining so well with Graham Sharp. Neville Southall, magnificent Wembley on Sunday, but was beaten by that soonest goal. 
Robert Irvin, who came, who came off, having been substituted by Andy Quinn. Graham Souness, the old familiar routine. A shake of the hands with his chairman, John Smith. That old familiar scene, Liverpool raise the trophy yet again. And the man who's got it is the man who scored the goal that mattered, that won the cup for Liverpool.